Back in 2019, I was looking to create a case that required the fewest additional pieces possible. No riser cables, no standoffs, nothing that wasn't absolutely required in order to make the case functional. And back then, this is what I came up with. Ranging between 8 and 11 liters, it did fit the bill, but it didn't necessarily make it a very good small form factor design. While technically anything under 20 liters or so is considered small form factor, it is on the bigger side, especially when you consider the overall footprint of the case. Uh, you had to have space for a large GPU, you needed to have space for the power supply, and it all needed to kind of be in the same general vicinity in order to not require additional pieces or cables or standoffs or whatever. Fast forward to 2022, and I came up with this design, which while it is a good deal smaller, it does require you to have a riser cable inside of it in order to have a GPU. But immediately, one of the first questions was, couldn't you just make a case without the riser cable? And yes, I, I technically could. It, it's actually it's the same kind of case I just showed. But it would not make it much smaller because a full height GPU is typically much bigger than what you would need for a, the CPU cooler. So it's creating a lot of extra wasted space in that respect. And which is why I originally filled it out with a power supply. But if we were to move to a half height GPU, which is becoming increasingly common, and there are numerous examples now of some decent gaming or workstation cards that can support this, I set out to create a even smaller case that would support half height video cards and not require any additional pieces as well. But there was an additional element that I was wanting to integrate, and that was the ability to make it look not as much like a 3D printed case. So one of the questions I got uh, before was, how do you make a case not look 3D printed? Well, you could sand it and paint it and do whatever you need to do in order to cover all the layer lines and make it look like however you want. But the easiest way to do it is to cover it in something else. And in this case, I wanted to go with a wood vinyl wrap, you know, very LGR like and make it look much more different than what you could typically get out of a 3D printer. And so I had to go with flat sides in order to make it easier to put the vinyl wrap on and make it really easy to cut out the edges so that, you know, it doesn't look quite so messy. So this is what I ended up with, a very flat sided case, but the vents are all around the edges. So it, you can still kind of get some extra uh, airflow in the case but there are still cutouts for the GPU and CPU where you would need the extra cooling. This printed example is actually a little bit of an earlier design and I moved around some of the vents in order to optimize where the, where the typical GPU fan was going to be, so I pushed them all back. But if you do anticipate extra heat in your build, I also created one that had even more vents, uh, so sacrificing a little bit on, on the aesthetics, but even more vents, uh, in order to optimize airflow even more. And one of the reasons why you may want more vents, uh, besides, you know, for the obvious example of heat, is with vinyl wrapping, if you are not good with an X-Acto knife or razor blade or whatever, which I am not very good at them, um, is I created these little print-in caps that would kind of cover up all the, the knife cuts and if anything else didn't turn out exactly right. And this does have the negative effect of reducing the total amount of airflow in the case. So increasing the vents total kind of offsets that a little bit and kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Being able to wrap the case and not having to worry so much if the wrapping doesn't turn out as well as you would hope. Looking inside the case, you can see there is the cutout here. It would only support a half height GPU. So that is just easy, just slides in right there. And it supports ITX motherboards and 60 millimeters of CPU clearance. So that should cover most box coolers as well as a variety of small form factor designed CPU coolers. But other than the internals of the computer, the only thing you would need to purchase is some sort of power button. I have designed it for standard 16 millimeter power buttons, and that's about it. 
There is space up front if you wanted to modify the case in order to get you know, more cooling in there. Uh, but for my testing with low power parts, I didn't experience any thermal throttling, though I would still recommend you print the case with PETG or something stronger instead of PLA. Uh, just because it's a smaller case, the heat is going to build up. Uh, but if you are going to use PLA, make sure you use the case design with the additional vents. If you do end up printing this case, I would love to see it. So maybe drop a comment below or send me a link that I can go check it out. There are links in the description to get the STLs for yourself.